So I've heard about SHX fonts for a while. Uh, and over the weekend, I got curious and looked into it a little more. So these are commonly referred to as single line fonts. And they were originally developed for CAD and AutoCAD. So you don't install them like a standard true type font by right clicking on the file and installing it. You have to set up a folder, put these in a folder, and then point Lightburn to it. So I've got a folder set up here. I have a few fonts. So then we'll tell Lightburn where to find them. You just go to settings and to set SHX font path, click that, find the folder where your files are and select it. Click OK. So these are not uh, that easy to pick out of your pile of fonts. I'll just click here and go up here and take a look. Uh, I've got a few up here in recent, but if you're digging through, they're not that easy to pick out because your true type fonts have TT next to them and your SHX fonts have SHX next to them. But to me, with my bad eyes, it's just all blurs together. So I got a few out and these are just the file names and that's what shows up in your font list. It's not necessarily a reference to what type of font it is. It's just the file name, and it could be anything, because a lot of these fonts are just really old. Uh, a lot of them tie back to a uh, Hershey set from back in the 60s. So, uh, and they're not that easy to find on the Internet. If you, if you click free SHX fonts, uh, you may find a couple, but uh, I had trouble finding them. There's a few links in some forums you can look through. I did find a, a pretty good set that I'll put a link for down in the description. But I can't guarantee that they're public domain. So do your own research uh, before you use them in any commercial way. Now, of course, the reason people would want to use a single line font is if you're mass producing something like bag tags or something like that, and you wanted to run them off quickly, if a single line will do, then this is what you need. So there's a, this one on the bottom is a little interesting. And again, that's the file name. But you have a lot of single lines uh, separating that off and kind of filling that in. And you can do that with Lightburn, but it'd take you a lot longer. And if this will do uh, what you want, you want something semi-filled, then uh, if that'll work for you, that's good. Now, if you had a, uh, let's say you got an Arial Black, uh, and to engrave that, of course, you would have to uh, fill it in, and that would certainly take longer than a single line font to do. So it's up to you. At least now you have more choices, and I believe I've said all I understand about this right now, but if you have questions, please ask. I'll do my best to answer them, and uh, if I don't have an answer, I will get you in the right direction. So I appreciate your time and watching. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow, and it helps keep me in the shop doing stuff, playing with light burn and the laser, and then I can share that with you folks when I, when I figure something out. So thank you for your time. Check back often for new videos. Take care, and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.